Welcome to another episode of Crystal's Bites. Now, I'm on a road trip today heading to Masaka. And you cannot go on a road trip in Uganda and not stop for roadside muchomo. Now, that could be chicken, it could be goat's meat, it could be liver. I personally love gizzards. And in Lukai, as you can see right behind me, it's a hive of activity. Now, a lot of people are always like a little bit worried about roadside chicken or roadside food. Now, one of the tricks my mom always taught me is to make sure you go to where the fire is. So you get it nice and hot and personally I like a little bit of chili added to that. So today I'm going to be talking to a goat's meat specialist, Mahad, and he'll be taking us through the process, how they start off and all the different kinds of goat's meat they have on display. Because there's intestines, there is goat tail. Did you even know you could eat goat tail? And so many other things. You were telling me, I really, really want to understand what's that right at the end. This is the offal. The offal. The ones we call offals. Okay, how do you make it? So like we do make it ready, mm -hmm. we do put it inside, we taste another goat, yeah. we mix it with onions, mm -hmm. we put in some tomatoes, okay. and then we wrap it. And then you wrap it? Yeah, we wrap it. And you wrap okay. it. this is not ready. How long does it take? It takes like about 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, so you've just put that one on the fire? Yeah. Okay. All right, but let's, let's start at the beginning. So you take me to where it all begins. We do get a forgot after skinning it from the abata. Okay. Yeah, we bring it here. Mm -hmm. We do divide it into two in chops, these ones. Mm -hmm. So this is the thigh of the goat. Yes, yes. You see? These are the leaves. Mm -hmm. So these are the guys who slice the, 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 the pieces of meat into those small pieces you've been seeing. The ones that, and they're so soft for the record, so, so soft, the meat is tender. Huh? So you decide which one goes for what type of meat you're doing? Now, like we mix, if you are uh, cutting, Mm -hmm. Mix the legs plus the leaves. You know, the other customers that may come, they, they, they don't need fats. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We do give them the part of the thigh. The okay. one without fats, eh? yes, like yes, this yes. one. Yes, yes, yes. The middle fat, we give you this one. Mm -hmm. And the leaves. Okay, so you have That's variety for what people want. Yeah. Okay. Like, you have to take, a, take your choice. Okay. Yeah. So, what about now? Like, do you just put salt? Are there any spices you use? No, like, so, for, for the case of salt, we do put it after. After roasting, okay. Yeah, there are those who don't take salt, mm -hmm. so we do put on salt from the customer's products. Mm -hmm. You want salt? You don't want salt? Mm -hmm. We do put for those who, who those want. who want. Yeah, okay. some people who put us in take salt. Yes, yes, yes. Of course. How long have you been doing this? Like since I left school. Since I left school. Yeah. Okay. I mm -hmm. had to drop out. Mm. Okay. But so I you started on your own, or you're doing it with like friends, family? How did you begin? Like I was doing this before. Uh huh. Uh, like I was schooling. Uh -huh. I was doing this. Okay. So me completing high school, mm. I had to quit, to quit school and come here. So when it comes to the fire, do you start with it really hot, or like we, we or you make sure we legulate, we legulate fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but step by step. Step by step. Mm -hmm. Like you want to freshen the meat, eh? yeah. You do put them back. You put it. You put it back here. Mm -hmm. It freshens. Then you put it back there. Okay. But it's quite dry. That's what I like about it. It's not too, too, too wet. And you have to make it dry. I'm okay being here. You're fine. So this is the fresh one. Of us. Oh, That's how we okay. These are the banana whatevers. Mm -hmm. The ones we used to wrap. All right. So I can see there are two of them here already. Are they very popular? A lot of people like them. Yeah, do. people do come from Kampala to mm -hmm. be for this. Specifically? Specifically. <laughs> Someone drives from Kampala coming for this. Okay, all right. And drives back. Come as a customer. Yes. I first give you the taste. Okay, which I have no problem with. Time. It's actually so tender though. I can get over it. How is it? Hmm. It's very good. But sometimes with goat's meat it can be very hard. Huh? Ah, so but you're telling me this is liver? Liver, the pancreas. This is the, this is the pancreas. <laughs> okay, I know I look greedy right now. But this is so good. How much do you sell it for? Like we do still starting from five. So you know every piece is five hundred. Like oh, per piece is five hundred. Yeah, like we do count pieces. Mm -hmm. You told me that you want for five, I'll do for five, ten pieces. 
then you do decide to add you some more pieces as a, as a bonus or extras. Mm -hmm. Then you add a little bit extra. It depends on how much you take it. Okay. Like how much you take it. So what time do you start? What time? Because this is a very busy road. There's a lot of traffic, people moving back and forth. So when do you start preparing every day? This is at 6. 6 a.m. Yeah. You're here? Yeah. Okay. And what time is the meat ready? Like 30 minutes are enough for a meat to get ready. Okay. So from 6 to 8 to 30 minutes. And what time do you stop? It depends on what you brought and what you've taken. Ah. Okay. Thank you very, very much. Welcome. I want to take... 10 pieces. 10 pieces. I want to take 10 pieces. Okay. So that is going to be my order.